Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In our previous demonstration video, we have discussed how the logic app can connect to storage account with a secretless option, which is using the managed identity without managing the password of the storage account connection string or access key. In today's demonstration, we will look at how we use our logic app to connect to the service bus queues and topics to read the messages from the service bus queues and to write the message from logic app to service bus queue with a secretless option using the manage identity. For the demonstration, I have a logic app standard which I've used in my previous demonstration. It has got a workflow section which we will be using and creating our workflows. Then I have a service bus which I've created. Then I have a service bus which I've created for this demonstration. Currently, I'm using a very minimum pricing tier, which is a basic pricing tier. It does not have the option to create topic, but this demonstrate, but the concept will work both for queues and topics. Now, this logic app has got the manage identity enabled. So I'm using the system manage identity with this demonstration, you can also use the user manage identity as well I, as I described in my previous video. Now, before we start creating a workflow, first thing we need to do is we need to assign a proper role from this logic app to the service bus. So I'll be using this particular logic app manage identity. You can copy that identity or you can also use the logic app name itself. So if I go to service bus namespace, I need to go click on the access and identity management control. Here I have a role assignment tab, which I can use to define the role. To define the role, as I mentioned earlier, you need to have an administrator of the owner level access. So I have the access for now, or you can use the Terraform to perform the same role access from the service principle. Now with the service bus, you have multiple roles specific for the service bus. For example, you have a role to create, to read the data which is the role name is uh, azure service bus data receiver similarly to write the data to service bus queues and topics you need to have a azure service bus data sender role so i'll be using a data receiver role for now let's click on next next i am going to use the option whom you want to assign access to I, do you want to assign the access to a user group or service principal or you want to assign it to manage identity as we are discussing about the manage identity so i'll be using the manage identity option next you need to choose a subscription and then manage identity so i'm choosing a manage identity for a logic app i have two logic app in this subscription so i'm going to select my logic app which is a logic app demo run that's it once you have the selection you can review the selection and click on review and assign so that will basically create a manage identity role exists on the service bus which is a data reader role let me just review that or refresh that so i have a role now from my logic app to the service bus now let's go to the workflow within the logic app and create a new service bus workflow to read the data so i'm going to call it as an msi service bus similarly i'll create another one for writer msi service bus sender So reader is completed. Let's go to the workflow reader. I click here. And the designer, we have to provide a trigger for the logic app. So I'll click on add trigger. As we are trying to read the data from the service bus queue, so I'll be using the service bus as a trigger. If you would like to filter out this specific type of connector, then you can use the filter as in runtime filters. As I'm interested only in the built-in connectors, I'm using the runtime as an in app, which means that it will filter out only the built-in connector. i 
I'll use the trigger option. I do not have, I cannot choose the topic option because I'm using a basic primary uh, tier. I don't have any option to create a trigger as of now. You need to specify the service bus connection option. So I'll say as an SD connection, which is a service connection, authentication type. I'm not going to use the connection string authentication type, which is a default connection string. Uh, then you have Active Directory authentication option and then lastly you have a Manage Identity connection option. Now if I go to this Manage Identity connection option requires a fully qualified name of your service bus. So you can go to the overview. Click on Create New and that will create a built-in connector or the connections for the service bus connector. The connection is created now if you click on this drop down that will fetch the name of the queue if even though if it is not been fetched you can still enter the name of your queue by clicking here on the custom enter custom value as the queue is name is already been selected so click on this queue name which you have already selected so that will fetch the data and let's say we would like to read and retrieve the data into a compose data option so i'll be using this data operations view and then i'll be clicking on the compose data option and within the input i'll say that when a message is available in the queue so that's a content property I am going to uh, retrieve it from this uh, trigger time. Let's save this. That's done. Now if you look at the trigger history, if a message is sent to the queue, then it should have the logic app run automatically as it Right now it's not running because we have not sent any of the message to our queue. Let's look at our queues right now in the service bus. So if I go to the queues option, I have the employee queue which I've selected in that option. Right now it does not have any message so far. So what I'm going to do for the demonstration, I'll be clicking on this queue option and service bus explorer and we'll send a message to the service bus right here from this section. In a practical example, it may be your program which is sending the message to this particular queue, but for demonstration, we are just directly sending the message from this Azure portal. I'm selecting content type as in JSON as I'm interested to send the JSON option, but you can also send a plain text as well. It has been sent. And you can see that even though I'm I've sent the data, but it is not available to me here. The reason for that is as soon as you've sent the data, the data is already been picked up by your receiver, which is a logic app in this case. So now if I go back to the receiver and if I try and refresh that, I should have a run already been executed by my logic app. You can see that the run has been triggered successfully. It has taken 1.25 seconds. Let's open the workflow. So that's the trigger which has been triggered and trying to retrieve the data and that is the data which we have received so far. So if, if you look at the raw input, that's the raw input or the message which we have sent and what we have received. So that's the demonstration of the service bus trigger which is trying to retrieve or read the data from the service bus using the logic app with the manage identity option. If we verify and go and check the connections option to check whether we are using the any connection string for the service bus or not, we can verify it from the connection option. You can see that I'm using a built-in connector, which means that all my connectors are defined in the service bus provider connection. This is the option. Uh, our connection is created using the manage identity. It is just using the fully qualified service bus name, which is the name has been specified here. So no connection string has been used so far. Now, next option what we have is to send the data to the service bus queue. So for that, I'm going to create a new queue because if I'm going to read, uh, use the same queue, then the message will be sent here and it will be immediately read by 
the other workflow so you will not be able to see whether we have any message of arrive or not just for the demonstration we are going to click on let's say product or let's say stock is the name of the queue it's creating a queue if the name is stock and meanwhile it is creating will open this data sender workflow i'll go to the design mode. I'll click on create. This time I'm going to use a HTTP trigger type. So I'll be using this option. Use trigger method type. I'm going to use as in post. Next we'll have a built-in service queue. The search with the bus option. Yeah. Send message. Then select the name of the queue, which is the stock queue which we have created. And next we need to select the content option to send the content through this particular queue. So content which we are going to send the body of the HTTP request. Once it is done. use the in-app option to send the response back to our HTTP caller and we'll say that message sent successfully that's it let's save this Right. Now, if we try and look at the history now, it's for so far. So, we have to run this logic app using this option. So, I'm going to run the logic app with run with payload option. It has automatically detect the workflow uh, method type, which is HTTP post. So I'm going to send the message as in I this is the message on watch. Let's run this. It is not it's not running right now, so I need to have a role for that. So let me just check if we have a proper role assigned to this. At the moment it just have a data receivers i'm going to uh, use the data sender as well let me have just data sender role which is a data sender which is this one manage identity Now, in order to get an effect, it may possible you might want to restart uh, your logic app. So, let me just restart this logic app and check if it is working fine or not. So, if you have set the role after your workflow has been created, or if you modified the role after your logic app has been created, so you may need to restart your logic app or your workflows. Our logic app is restarted successfully. Let's rerun again. So due to some reason, our run with payload option for this workflow was not working. So for so what I did is I just make some changes to the workflow. I've added a compose step here in our workflow. I'm creating a unique GUID on every run, and this is the exactly the same GUID which I'm sending it as a message to the same bus. This is absolutely fine because our intention was to make sure that we are able to send the message to the service bus without having any issue, any issue as such. Now, if I go to the workflow and if I try and run the workflow without a payload option, let's run that. It has run triggered successfully. If I try and just refresh it, this is the latest run we have got now. 
they should have generated a unique GUID and exactly the same GUID has been generated with sending with 95C5. It's been sent as a 9C5. And if I try and retrieve the message on the same first, we should have the same message as a 9C5 and B. So that's about the using the same bus with logic app using the managed identity without secrets or the password. I hope you have found this useful. In our next demonstration, we'll look at some other services with managed identity and logic app. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.